toss it over the top and then pull it underneath along your neck. Grab it on both ends, pull it nice and tight, not so tight that you pass out. Center it under your chin. Whoa, what's that there? He's got his left hand in. Go on, wrong already. Fish. Start again. When I first realised I wanted to marry Gracie, I remember we hadn't been together all that long and we went out in Manchester to see Rag and Bone Man. We drank and danced all night. It was lovely, just the two of us. Then she said to me, I'm starving. Can we go and get something to eat now? Yeah, what do you fancy, I said. Top cappy. So I asked her, I said, what's, what's top cappy then, Grace? She went, best kebab shop in Manchester. <laughs> it was at that moment oh. I knew we was meant for each other. <laughs> There's one toast I'd like to make, and this is a special thing, this. Without this person, I wouldn't have been here. These wouldn't have been here. He's gonna be 90 next month. So I'd like you to toast to me, Dad, Joseph Fern. Having got to know your dad pretty well over the past year or so, I know that you know that good things come in small packages and the size of a man is not governed by how tall he is. One for us short ones, boys. Harry, I give you this ring. Harry, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. I promise to cherish you. I promise to cherish you. Comfort and care for you. Comfort and care for you. For as long as I live. For as long as I live. <laughs> She's the Patsy to my Adina, the Morkham to my wise. So, Grace Scarrett, if times get tough and you need a friend, know that you have that in me. As your older brother, Harry, I've had the privilege of watching you grow into the man you are today. You're not only my brother, but you're my best mate. I can't believe how lucky I am to be marrying you today. I love you more than you will ever know. You're my best friend and we have made some amazing memories together. And I can't wait to make many more with you.